Hey guys, Gary here. Thanks for checking in. New product alert. So got something new to try out. And uh, I had tried one of these out uh, that I borrowed from somebody and I liked it. It wasn't quite the same configuration. So got me one for myself. So we are looking at Peltor Compact 6 Dual Com Earpro. So uh, if you guys had seen my uh, radio video, maybe I'll put it up in the corner, whichever fucking corner it goes in. Uh, I have been using uh, some Compact 2s, which are kind of some old tech. Um, like when they came out, they were pretty awesome. Um, however, they don't sound nearly as good as Compact 3s, which came out around a similar time as the Tactical Sports that uh, I've been wearing for years and years. Uh, like the circuitry inside of these is awesome. And when I was getting uh, set up for running radios, uh, Compact 3s were unobtainable, but I found some Compact 2s, so I had been running those. And they, they work great, but they don't sound as good as my regular Ear Pro from Peltor. So I wear this all the time unless we're running radios. So... I decided to splurge and get myself some compact sixes. Uh, forewarned, they're not cheap. Um, Becker over at Ammo Supply Warehouse uh, found a place that was doing a little bit of a deal, had them in stock, so bam, there, here they are. So I'll open them up, and uh, I've already opened it up once to make sure everything was in here, but I just stuffed it back in so we could do a video. You get a rather unique manual, yay, a set of compact sixes. Uh, these have dual down leads, uh, right radio, right ear, oh that's my left and left right, uh, you know, like the radio over here goes in this ear and the radio over here goes in this ear. But uh, headband, boom mic, there's some improvements. Uh, outside of the unit from the twos. As you can see, my uh, my twos were olive drab. My sixes are coyote. Uh, I prefer the olive drab. However, nothing has been in stock for quite some time uh, in any industry. So uh, I was like, oh yeah, coyote brown sounds great. Uh, I got paint and shit if need be. So fuck it, let's coyote brown it is. So now what's interesting is they come stock now with the arc rail adapters. So if I want to take that apart and put it on a helmet, I'm not going to, but I could. Um, the way these are set up, uh, apparently it's a little easier to switch it over from uh, headband mount to helmet mount versus the old ones. There was a lot more to do in order to get it done. Uh, the boom mic has an internal foam screen to a windscreen, but it did come with a pair of uh, socks for over top, like the old ones uh, had. Um, set of Energizer batteries. Uh, they're alkaline, so and they're not Duracell, but I will run them till they're dead. See what kind of life I get out of them, and then swap to lithiums or. If I have to use alkalines, I'll use Duracells. Finding lithium uh, AA, AAA Duracells in the United States is difficult, so it'll be probably lithium energizers. And a set of gel cups. So it came with the regular foam cups, and but it came with a set of gel cups. So that's, while they're not cheap, there's a lot of shit in a box. Uh, I guess it's a nice box, but... Uh, I'm not worried about the box. So what I'm going to do uh, is I am going to uh, wear these a bit and then I'm going to deck them out with some stuff and then I'm going to report back. So this is kind of just the beginning of the video. There'll probably be a, a cut out where you will see the other part of the video starting in a minute, but there'll be some time elapsed between them. Uh, four things I'm going to do to the EarPro. Obviously, I'm going to put batteries in it. 
Um, I am going to put a Peltor wrap on the top and there's not a perfect Peltor wrap out there. Like I have a bunch on some EarPro from SOE. Things work great, but there's no way to hang the EarPro from the wrap. Uh, and once you got it bolted into a bunch of fucking, uh, you know, routed through different shit gear to plug into your push to talks, when you take them off, it's nice to just hang them on your gear instead of just hold them in your hand. So having that little hook or loop on the, the Peltor wrap is awesome. Uh, I have, like, on uh, this one, it's from uh, OC Tactical, you know, and it's got the little paracord loop, and that's probably what I'm going to put on these. Um, mm -hmm. I did try this one from Raptor Tactical, uh, and it's got some Velcro and Molly, so you can, like, do some stuff for cable management, which I really like, and it's laser cut, Cordura, and... Like you can see on the little loop thing, I don't know if you can see it well or not, but it's getting chewed up from hanging it on my, my gear. So I'm not positive that that is going to last. So I will probably go back to the uh, OC Tactical over the Raptor and I can get the OC Tactical on AOR. Uh, so I'll probably do that and maybe I'll go to the local Stitch Bitch and get something else sewed on so that I could do some better cable management, but we'll take that as time comes. Um, I'm also going to uh, probably take the noise fighters. I think I did a video about noise fighters. I have them in my compact twos. I'll probably take those out and put the 3M gel pads on it and take the noise fighters, put on the sixes uh, because I think the noise fighters are made better than the 3M gel pads. So I, I'll probably, and those ones are pretty new. I'll just do the old swap a -roo. Um, And last but not least, uh, as you can see on my twos, I have some AR2 covers on them. Um, so I ordered another set of those from a company called Dynamic Fuzz. And so what I got was a, uh, it's two separate things. Uh, they're currently stuck together. So it's a piece of sticky backed Velcro cut to fit the Peltors and then a piece of AOR cut to fit on the Velcro. So I, I'll have the AOR two covers on the outside of the, of the Peltors. Now my, my old twos, I threw in some, some baffles, which are these guys. They go inside, uh, up behind the foam. These are hole for the uh, micro or a speaker. And it's supposed to help uh, with noise penetrating through uh, loud noises. And um, so I did that. It also, I think, makes the microphone stand out a little clearer, having them in versus not having them in on my uh, twos. So I bought an extra set, and I'm just going to, when I have the cups off, I'll throw them in on my sixes. Uh, so I got like two of the baffles. Then I came with these two little square guys with like a cut in them. Um, I don't know where the fuck those go, but... Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll, when it's open, I'll look and see if I can't figure it out. So I'll put the dynamic fuzz in, the dynamic fuzz on, and uh, I'm still waiting on another AR2 wrap, so I'll probably just take this one off of this ear pro and throw it on there for now. Uh, the other one probably won't be here for a couple of days. So I'm going to get these things all set up and report back. So I did all the shit to it, and I've been playing with it for a little bit. Uh, so the down leads work in both my radios, but for the moment they're just hanging because I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do to keep them wrapped up out of the way since this Peltor wrap doesn't have any stuff in it. So like I said uh, earlier, uh, when the new one gets here, I'll put this one back on my regular uh, Ear Pro that I teach in, but I think I'll get uh, a couple strips sewn on it so I can put like a web dominator on there or something to loop those things up when I'm not plugged into radios. Uh, the the mic is pretty cool in that it telescopes in and out as well as like flexes out of the way and whatnot. Uh, there is this cool, uh, I think it calls it NIB, uh, talk, uh, like you can talk to each other. There it is. Oh, NIB is off. 
and now it's all. okay. So you can use it to talk to other contact sixes without using your radios. So if you're in a, a noisy environment, and, you know, like say in a helicopter or in a, uh, inside a vehicle that's loud, you can talk to the people around you within, they say within about 10 meters, uh, all my buddies with sixes are not here, so we can't really play with it and test it out. But this weekend at class, uh, we'll, we'll put that to use and see how well it works. Uh, it's got a couple different modes, which I need to play with more, but they seem very uh, interesting. Uh, modes for like the normal amplify like all the other you know Peltors in existence and then they have ones like for conversation and ones for super noisy environments and ones for patrolling and like the conversation ones are supposed to accentuate the the mid-range that the human voice is in and the like the patrolling one is supposed to not amplify the sound of gravel or your sling riding across your gear and shit uh i will say the microphones in these, not this microphone, but the ones that listen to the ambient noise are fucking amazing. They sound awesome. Uh, so I'm super impressed with that. Uh, another thing that they got, and I got to see how you get into that mode, is they have earplug mode. So if you want to double up, you know, like say you're shooting in a car and, it, you know, muzzle brakes are loud and that kind of thing. You can put plugs in underneath the... Uh, Ear Pro, and then put it in earplug mode and it jacks it up like another five decibels or something. So that's also pretty cool, especially for us fellas that are nearly deaf and probably should be wearing TEP 100s under these anyway. I'm told that you uh, can do TEP 100s under these. I know you can do TEP 100s under these. And I think that's more about the, the TEP 100 than it is about the, the ones on the outside. Um, that's that. Like so far, this is, they, they're as comfortable as the other ones. Uh, they move the, the cables from the front to the, from the back to the front so that it fits under a helmet better. But if I were gonna go for a helmet, I would do the arc rails, I guess. Uh, but uh, man, do these things sound amazing. So now the next test will be, uh, we'll take it out to the range and uh, get some other guys, some of my buddies with the sixes and we'll see how well the NIB works and do some radio stuff and that kind of thing. and and uh, do a use test. I'll just make that a second video and go ahead and throw this one out there. So it's, it is there. So that's what I got. You guys take it easy. I'm not gonna lie to you fellas. When I ordered these and it took, you know, a week to get here or however long it takes, uh, I was pretty stoked and in my years of buying gear, there's been like the most excited I was was after I paid for my nods and I was waiting for them to show up. Like that was pretty like every day. Where are they at? Where are they at? Number two on the list, these ear pro. Number three on the list was my first AR. So I was I was more excited about getting new ear pro than I was about getting my first AR-15. 